what is everyone's experience with the Rocky movies? I've seen all of them. I've seen Rocky 1, 3, and 4. I've only seen the first Rocky. But none of us here have seen any Creed. So we're about to see both Creeds at the same time. Not simultaneously. Yeah, so Ryan Coogler didn't return for Creed 2. Do you think it's going to be a situation where it's like Pacific Rim 2 or Sicario, slash Sicario 2. 2, where the first one's really good, and then they got a director who's done literally fucking nothing to do the second one, it's terrible. It looks that way. I'm, what are reviews are the Creed 2? I think Creed 2 is at like 80-something, 79 maybe. Oh, okay. Like, I think it's high. Also, Creed 2 looks great. So I mean the trailer. I mean the trailer does the music thing, so that might be why it looks better. I got, I got, I got. I got like, anything I got, I got, that does that is automatically all right. better. Stephen Cable Jr. is directing Creed. Two. He's done nothing. We, we looked, looked it up. He the did Land. the Land and that's two the, episodes of Gronish. That's the only movie he's ever done. So therefore, he should nothing. direct, which is a spinoff of Blackish. Blackish has a spinoff. So he should direct this huge blockbuster movie about this. Very I mean, I wouldn't character. call it a blockbuster. Um, Creed made a lot of money. Hype, sure. Yeah. I don't know. They're advertising the movie a lot more. Than they did with the first one. Yeah, they want to get all that juicy hype. Yeah, because people liked Creed. Like, with the first one, it's like, oh, well, if it sucks, oh, well, whatever. Oh, wasn't the first one, like, a 90-something percent on Rotten Tomatoes or some shit? Like, yeah, yeah like because that it was... But, like, they didn't know it was going to be a 90-something no, percent not, on oh, They didn't Tomatoes. know, but, like, now they know for the second one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I'm a little on the fence. Because changing uh, directors <laughs> mid-series is always um, great and produces the best movies. Cautiously optimistic. I don't think this movie's gonna blow our minds away. I think it's gonna be not as good as Creed. Yeah. But not as bad as the difference between So You Wanna Be a Sicario and So You Wanna Be a Sicario, Dave the Soldado. Jake, what do you know about the Rocky series? I know that what turned me off from watching more than the first Rocky was the fact that they're all the kind of say the same movie over and over again. That's in broad strokes, yeah. I'd say that's that's a fair analogy. It's similar analysis. premises, but with different plots. And it's yeah. weird be- to me too because like, I've fa- seen. Did you not watch the one where he fights Russia and solves the Cold <laughs> He's War? He like, solves the entire Cold War. Yeah, he did. <laughs> that's what happens in that. But, movie, um, which is what the sequel to this movie is. It's yeah. weird too because all the Rocky sequels are kind of following that very strict formula, and then you see movies that aren't Rocky, like. Uh, Southpaw with Jake Gyllenhaal, and it's just Rocky again. And it's like, God damn it. Like, well, but my question is, will any boxing movie ever not be Rocky? That's what That's I true. want. Is there a boxing movie that isn't Rocky? Well, maybe we'll find out when we watch Creed. Or Creed 2. Not until this moment have any of us seen Creed, and now we've all seen Creed. How do, we, how, what, how do we think about Creed? I liked it. I liked it a lot. It started off pretty lackluster and then got real good. And then got real good. Yeah. Um, I will say, I did not enjoy this movie at first. First, like, 15 or so minutes, I was not feeling it. I, I did could not. tell. I, I was complaining <laughs> about everything that was on screen. Yep, and then it, as soon as Rocky comes in and they start, like, training together, it picks up right quick. My biggest fear was that Rocky was just going to be, like, shoehorned into this movie because a lot of those remakes and stuff are doing it where it's like, oh, we have this old character like Jeff Goldblum in Jurassic World 2. I'm Electric just here to Google. talk sometimes. Yeah, I'm here because I was in the first one and people like me. I'm Jeff Goldblum. This one, it felt like... He's a felt, main plot point. He's a main plot point. He's Rocky. in the movie just as much as Creedus. Yeah. And the scene where he's talking about how he is the past and he's like, he wants death, basically... It adds gravity to other scenes where he's, like, talking at the graves and, like, wow, what a fucking powerful thing. And we were joking why he got a supporting actor nomination for this, because it was just, like... At the very beginning when he's just, like... Yeah, uh, yeah, well, he's weird. just talking like a regular human being, or, but or he or doesn't sound regular. At the beginning where Apo- Apollo... Adonis Creed walks into his place and recites Wikipedia plot points from other Rocky movies, and, and the only thing Rocky says in response is, How do you know that? How do you know all that? Yeah, How you know about or that, that scene you know at the that. very beginning when we see him in Tijuana, Mexico, and then it hard cuts to him at his job, and mm-hmm. he passes this paper to his boss, and he goes, you're quitting, you just got promoted. And I'm like, that's a very odd exposition. <laughs> Oddly specific thing to talk about. All right, so you want to do things we liked and things we didn't like real quick? Uh, we've been alternating back and forth the big points. I've already hit everything I didn't like. Let's uh, start with not like, because we all like uh, Let's start with not like. Every movie that does the stupid fucking title card thing needs to be abolished. Ian, this is a soapbox for a different video. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, it's fine. Bring it Philadelphia. up. Philadelphia. No, and then the next listen. scene, they say Philadelphia on something. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> it was, I wish we'd been recording our commentary during the video, because he, he literally screamed. Other than that, I like the movie. I love the movie. Yeah. I really liked um, that whole third act, which Rocky movies are usually really good at building to the third act, and third act is fucking Ooh, that third act bonkers. Fight. Ooh, we were going crazy. That good was third act. Good. He wore the parachute Hi. pants. 
he did wear the parachute. What did we all think about the way that Ryan Coogler did that one take fight scene in the middle? Uh, fun Legend. fact: every single fight scene was a one take fight scene, basically, and it was great. Uh, the no, not at all. Lot, but that fight scene in particular was very big one take. Good, 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 good. very good. good. Uh, um, fun fact: don't expect more of that in the sequel. Yeah, well, you know, well, this is this is what we talked about with Sicario. Sicario had really nice, interesting shots. Sicario did, Soldado uh, did not. It had one good shot in Soldado. Everything else was just average. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, um. I want to say, at first, again, like we were talking, we did not understand why Sly Stallone got a Best a Supporting Actor nod for this movie. Yeah, he was yep. great. By the end of it, wow, completely wow. understood. That scene where he tells Creed, I just want to die, more mm-hmm. or less, powerful scene. I loved it. Powerful or, acting and brilliant writing in that. Even, even the scene when he's reading the newspaper to um, uh, Adrian, Adrian and, Paul. and Paul's yeah. uh, graves, mm-hmm. like he's not over the top like sad about it. He's kind of almost a little happy. But like then you kind of un- well that's because he's in the company of the people he cares exactly about the and then you unravel yeah. that psychology through his like discussion of like what he wants from life and everything and yeah no Sly Stallone did a great job as Rocky he definitely wants to be in the ground with them yeah and that oh oh wow that's powerful that and that final montage of him going through chemotherapy and Michael B Jordan training, training for the and, fight yeah, that's really brutal good. and I liked how at the end of the movie it's not really resolved well that's because it's a sequel but you gotta I get mean, the sequel going. But, like, I mean, like, the whole Rocky has cancer plot line isn't... Yeah. He doesn't miraculously lose the cancer like you I mean, expect it's, in a movie. It's open-ended. It's they, open-ended. It, the he, movie ends, it, but it leaves room for more. And yes. And that's very good. Appropriately, because he did... It, the whole deal was that, like, all right, I'll fight if you fight. And, like, we're you know, now you're a family and I need more to be. Creed is kind of his reason for living now, which is really... That, that's something that really I did not good. expect out of this movie. Yeah, no, I really... I feel like it, it starts slow, but once it picks up, once it finds itself, once it settles into its own narrative, it's that's really when this good. movie starts yeah. getting going. I'm thinking an 8. I'm feeling an 8.5. I was going to say an 8.5. Right, nice. Yeah, ruined it. You're... I mean, we can agree, Ian. We don't all have to pick. No, different. now it's a one. <laughs> <laughs> one out of ten. Mud likes it, zero. <laughs> Just like the Good nuggie. point. All right. Let's go watch Creed 2. Let's get food. Let's get food and then watch Creed 2. What did we think of the second Creed? We already talked about the first Creed a little bit. You know what? You I don't know if it's as good as the first one. I really like the second one. I like the I second really one a like lot. It doesn't have too. the slow bit at the beginning, but... Mm-hmm. It had well, a better we're, opening. We're going to talk think a Creed, little bit about why it's gonna, maybe not as good. I think Creed 2 had a better opening, but Creed had a better closing. Mm. It had a better closing. It had more, like, strung together. I felt like the whole pregnancy thing was really rushed. Oh, yeah? And just there. Well, I felt like about, it was very there. Talking about negative source? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I felt like that was a little rushed. Um, I didn't like that. I didn't that. like how Rocky's cancer was just kind of... Gone. Yep, gone I didn't like how it was just gone immediately. Yeah, it's a completely cured. Because it's like, a movie uh, cancer. When the movie opened, the way it was shot, the way Rocky's intro was shot, I leaned over to these two and I went, Rocky's not really there. He's just in Creed's mind and he died from cancer. No, he's fine. Yeah, he's, he's completely fine. fine. Perfectly fine. Cured, cured off screen. Did not like that. Perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. Uh, I, hate I would have liked more struggle in this movie, actually. I feel like he didn't struggle enough. Yeah. Well, like, uh, he got broken and they showed him, like, struggling twice and then he's fine mm. See, and I'm like eh, I, I, I don't like I that I respectfully disagree Ian. I, I would also disagree I think um, any scene where him and Drago are kicking the fuck out of each other mostly Drago kicking his ass no I mean just... like struggle outside the ring he means I don't mean struggle well, yeah, inside there, the there was a lot of that too as far as the um, death child death yeah. child death not death child I like how that was paid off at the end that was paid off at um, the end. something I didn't like was how Michael B. Jordan like the whole arc of the first Creed was that he learns not to be a brash idiot when it comes to fights, and then at the beginning of this movie, oh, he's just threatening me, I gotta be a brash idiot when it comes to fights, and he loses, and then Rocky's like, hey, don't be a brash idiot, and then he's not a brash idiot. It's like, you just did this. Yeah, it definitely (laughs) felt a little repetitive. I did like, because we were talking about this, in the first movie, he throws hands at anybody who gives him mild disrespect. In this movie, there's a scene very close to the beginning where this dude is just throwing shade at him, and we're like, I wanted him to beat him to death. Yeah, like, we were like, if this was the first... Creed movie because they were up on like a he would have folded him he would have folded him he would have folded him over that railing he, <laughs> he would have gone him. absolutely and then later on the scene where Drago's there and he's like insulting his dad and stuff which the early Gary guy did throw shade. He, then throw he's hands. gonna stand up and throw hands yeah. it's like ah, um, should have done that earlier I'm gonna throw this one out there 
I wish there had been more screen time for the Drago family. I agree It is completely. so yep. hinted at that there are these like dynamics going on mm-hmm. underneath the surface and makes you empathize with Drago and realize that Honestly, he has he is a victim of circumstance in the story. When I first I saw wish the Dragos on screen, gotten more Drago time. Absolutely. When I first saw the Dragos on screen, I thought, okay, good, some one note villains that are just gonna show up yep. and then fight and then lose and then he just gonna we got foiled again, curses, rah. Like that's how it's gonna play. Yeah, out. they didn't solve the Cold War in this one. I was pretty upset. <laughs> but aside from solving solving all of the Cold War. As the movie keeps going and you see more and more scenes with um, Dolph Lundgren and that tree of a son that he has. Dolph Sundren? We're gonna shit. we're gonna talk about him in the positives. Oh, we'll, we'll get to we'll get to him in a moment because we all physical unit <laughs> testosterone Sundren. embodied. So aside from that, I really really enjoy it. Any scene where um, we're still talking about things we didn't like. Come on, buddy. Didn't like. Well, I'm already talking about the drivers. I'm talking about what I, what I did. Like, I think um, I've spit. I've, I've gone through everything. There's just one more thing. Yeah, the sure. shots in this movie are not as impressive as the first one. Oh, not at all. Not, 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 I, found not some, I found some creative shots in there. Mm-hmm. Like when he's throwing the medicine ball and it pans. Uh, yeah, back, 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 back cool. with the murder. But one. I think. But that's think one of the only great of, shots in the movie. And pure just quantity count. Yes, the first movie has better shots. As far as a franchise as a whole, there is no franchise that has better montages than the Rocky series. Agreed. It's true. It's Agreed. coming from someone who hasn't seen Rockies two through five. Agreed, but. I've seen the clips on YouTube. It's, it's the, awesome. The, the important thing is, I won't say it's lacking. It's or just not as technically it's impressive. It's just not as technically impressive. Mm-hmm. They did a lot. Remember safer. that one shot fight in the first one? Ooh, that's from a great Ryan shot. Coogler. Yeah, that's that's. Great. They didn't have anything remotely close to it. No, not at all. And that but was I'm, upsetting. I'm happy that they didn't go the Sicario Day of the Soldado route, where it was just basic, simple mm-hmm. shots the entire. Film. Yeah, there was some things that were good and then yeah. most of it was just okay. No, yeah. yeah. Most of it most of it to me. Most was, was passable. Are we are we gonna snap back to positives? Yes. Okay. Holy shit, Victor Drago. Frankenstein himself, just the fucking lumbering mass of a human being. Any he scene that he's in, his arm movement. was as big as my chest. <laughs> like, <laughs> not like this, like, like this. Like the wide way. I yeah. wish we got more of him. I want so much more of him. More of him. I, I want more of the Dragos. See, yeah. I would not mind a Creed 3 mm-hmm. that focuses on Creed and Drago I, still. I love the Drago storyline. I love the idea that his dad um, basically failed his country and has raised his yeah, son his whole life is, just to box and be the best boxer ever. Especially as like a history buff and like understanding what the USSR is like. Mm-hmm. That is so real. Yeah. Real. The idea that you failed, you're out. There's nothing more left to you. Mm-hmm. And then like these hints at like the mom storyline and it yep. just... And I love how subtle that was, too. I love like, how I like how subtle, subtle it was, because it wasn't in your face. Yeah, there wasn't yeah. a scene where he went, this is your mom, this is what she thinks. Oh, yeah, was no, this. it was great. Uh, this movie still did some good show, don't tell, yeah. storytelling. I won't, I won't say it completely fell apart. Mm-hmm. I'm going to keep bringing it up because it's the only other movie we've done this with, but like Sicario, Dave the Soldado. Yep. Um, we saw Sicario at home, and then we went and saw Day of the Soldado in the same day, so we could compare them back to back. Yep. We did this with Creed and Creed 2. And the way Day of the Soldado just falls apart when you compare it to Sicario is mm-hmm. far less good. It's like a 9 versus a 6. It's a 9 versus a 6 was the general consensus. Creed to Creed 2, I don't feel that way at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. I definitely feel Creed 2 is not as good as Creed. Mm-hmm. But I don't feel... Like it's bad. It's a pale comparison. Yeah. I don't feel like it's a failed sequel. I don't feel like it's... It it continues Adonis' story. Mm-hmm. Also, I'm going to throw this one out there. We watched Creed, all three of us together. I, at no point during that movie, picked up on the fact that Tessa Thompson's character was deaf, and that confused me so much at the beginning of Creed 2. Really? I figured it out 80 yeah. times. I, I'm not even kidding. I did not... It went completely over my head that she was deaf. She had the earpiece. Or that she scene was... Where... I guess I should say hearing impaired, because she talks fine. Well, yeah. I, I mean, that was kind of like a like a minor thing that was um, not even hinted at. It was kind of shown when she was taking it out, when the, like the door, and like yep. he was yelling about sad things, and she didn't want to hear those sad things. You know? Yeah. No. Completely missed it. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> well, no. I like went, that aspect of the character. Just, I'll be honest. I'm probably just stupid, because you guys both picked up... <laughs> I just completely missed me so when, like, the whole scene happens that revolves around her hearing. I was like, is she ignoring him? And Ian's like, she's deaf. And I was like, she's deaf? <laughs> yeah, I thought Mud was just being stupid. Nope, I... Gen- and nope, but he's genuinely... Well, no, I was being stupid because yeah. I didn't notice something apparently super obvious. I love how they expanded on that. I love, like, like a major theme in the second Creed is, like, fatherhood and, like, a father-son relationship. Like, that's explored in, like, yeah. almost every character has something re- relevant to that. Yeah. So... I loved how at the it's end... A very, it's a very sins of the father type mm-hmm. story. Like, all I three of the main 
storylines are kind of tied together. Like, he visits his dad's grave, and his son's there, and it's like a huge moment. Or daughter, I don't know, the gender. It's a daughter. It's a daughter. What is the gender? Okay. Kate. Kate. Oh, yeah. Best, best joke in the movie. <laughs> best Not the best scene in the best movie. Best joke Come in on. the movie. There's a lot of... This movie's a little bit funnier than this, the first one was. Yeah, it, it, it relaxed a little bit, you know? Yeah, absolutely. I feel like the first one was very serious, because they were like, we're going to reintroduce Rocky, mm-hmm. and we're going to show the world that it's not a joke, because let's face it, after, after th- like Rocky three, even Rocky four Rocky four is a great. A, it's a it's still a bit of a joke, dude. I he beats it. the Russians on Christmas and solves the Cold War. <laughs> you can't deny that that isn't. And this is that means Rocky four is the best Christmas movie. And like this, Shut is, up. this is a sequel to Creed first and foremost. So second mm. most, it's a sequel to that Rocky four. Yeah, yeah. That, that's the. It's a about sequel that. to the sequel of Rocky four. Don't forget. Oh, yeah, think about it. <laughs> it's pretty big. Pretty yeah. Many layers. But then, like, you got Rocky visiting his son. I don't know if that's the same son from Balboa. I don't know if that's what introduced. I doubt it. Uh, let's see. Wikipedia filmography. Yeah. Yeah. It is? It's the same actor. Oh that's my God. amazing. That's, that's pretty me. impressive. Woo! That's Well, great. I mean, the Rocky franchise has always had the same people in Still, it. Still, it's been 12 years since he played a minor role in, in Rocky, Rocky Balboa, which is easily the most forgettable mm-hmm. Rocky movie. Well, I, since I forgot it happened. Yeah. That is that's, such a great thing. That's that's great, though. That is amazing. Props 12 to them. years later, they got back the same guy for what? Like a two-minute scene at mm-hmm. the end of the nice movie. Nice little cameo. They could have just gotten anybody. But like, oh, well, it's Honestly, been 12 years. So it was such a heartfelt moment, too, to oh, see that. Because yeah. like, Rocky, the whole movie, has been struggling with actually contacting him. You know? Yeah. Oh, my God. I can't believe that. Ooh, actually so brought back the same And guy. I love how it called back to that joke that Rocky made when um, he was uh, nervous to propose and he was like, you could always just text her. You know? That, that was funny. And that then was Rocky great. was about to call him and then at the end he realizes, no, I just gotta show up in person because that's the actual heartfelt thing to do. Rocky 8 was a really good one. <laughs> I enjoyed myself thoroughly. Do we want to give it an out of 10? They did the soundtrack in this one. Ooh, that got me. That got me, oh, that I made me hard. hard. I just wanted to mention the last fatherly thing was that like, at the end, um, when all of the Russian people leave the arena, when he finally starts losing... Dolph stays. Dolph... Sorry, uh, Ivan, I think? Ivan, Ivan, yeah, Ivan Drago. Yeah. Played by Dolph Lundgren. It doesn't help that they picked the two most generic Russian names. <laughs> Ivan and Victor. Victor. And, and like, so I was who, sitting in the theater, and I was like, I cannot keep straight which one is the father or which one is the son, <laughs> Ivan or Victor. Like, Absolutely. Victor, son of Ivan, and Ivan, son of Victor sound correct both ways. That's true. You can see, like, kind of in that moment when he's in the ring and he's losing and he sees his son get beat, it's the first moment where, like, he's not, like, hard on him. He's not like, you're gonna win because this is why this is Russia. Ours. This yeah. is our, Cold War. our legacy. He's looking at it and he's seeing all, like, the other Russian people leave because he's and losing. He's seeing he's what like, he's done to his son. What am I doing to my kid? You know? Like, yeah. He threw in the towel. He did what Rocky he threw should. In that the was a great shot. Kid. That was a great moment when mm-hmm. Dolph Lundgren comes up along the side just tosses. Yeah. Ne- I'm gonna throw in another quick negative. More Ivan and Rocky scenes. More yeah. of those two just talk. <laughs> that scene where he's at the table and he's just talking about the pictures on the wall. And he's and like, "There's none of me." Oh, it's probably such one a- of your greatest fights, and there's none of it. It's one of those like beautiful like um, yeah. scenes in Heat halfway through where the good guy meets the bad guy. Like they're just like you yeah. know this history with them, and they're just sitting and talking. Yeah, and it's so powerful. And, and I, I just love, love that moment where he's just like, "I ate it single, up." Not a single photo of me. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was, I, was one of your, in I was one of your greatest fights. Mm-hmm. And, and Rocky's and like, forgot. no, we don't have that up there. And he's talking about the fight. And he's like, no, that, that's not on the wall. Yeah, the... that was a great little moment. He says, none of me. Yeah, we don't have that. That event. Because that's not what it was. It was an It wasn't event. about you. It was an event. Mm-hmm. And, like, honestly, I'm, I kind of empathize with Ivan in that moment. Like, Rocky, this was one of your greatest fights. One of your mm-hmm. greatest victories. Yeah, but I don't think he wants to remember it, friend. though. Yeah, but, like, when you think about it. Mm-hmm. I don't know. No, but I like I, that, the whole, that right there. That adds the whole, layers act, to his character. He doesn't want to put it up because he doesn't want to think about it. Yeah, and it's all consistent with um, Ivan himself. Like he's fallen from the ranks for thirty years, and he's been disgraced because that's how yeah. that, that's how that whole thing works. And it's just it was nuts. It was absolutely bonkers, and I love that. So I loved it. Out of ten, what are we thinking? Ian, I'll let you start. I gave the last one an eight and a half. This one's getting the eight. I gave the last one an eight. This one, for different reasons, is another eight. <laughs> I think in the first time of quality content history, we're all giving the same score. What? I'm giving Creed 2 an 8. We all give Creed 2 an 8? I think this is Mud liked it 1. <laughs> Again. I'm not going to change his no, opinion. I'm serious. We need to, like, check all of our reviews. I think this is the first time in history since I joined the show that we have all given something the same score. 
That's crazy. Yeah, I know it's sometimes we're similar or a little we're, bit different. We're always within like a ballpark. We're always mm-hmm. half or one point off. On occasion, each other. one of us will starkly disagree. Yeah, like Ant Man and the Wasp, I initially gave an eight, but I have since re seen that movie and it dropped down to a six. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a five. It's, it's it's what Marvel cranks out every year. Yeah. but mm-hmm. Can't wait for more Marvel safe movies. Yeah. All right. We're not talking about that. We're talking I can't wait about for Chris Rocky Reed. the Eighth Rocky. We're, we're talking about Rocky. Rocky, <laughs> Rocky goes eight, punches and he goes Rocky Eight Creed two, They do that in actual Drago boxing. One. That's why I like it. Yeah, they do the. It's good stuff. I enjoyed Rocky 8 Creed 2 Drago 1. I got, I got, I got, I got loyalty inside my DNA.